Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari and these are my knitting podcast videos. And in today's episode, I have Luna with me once again. She's my old faithful companion in these uh, podcast videos. In my previous video, if you watched it, um, Luna wasn't there. I think that's like one of the first videos for a very long time without any sighting of Luna. But uh, today she is here with me. Uh, in my previous episode we had our new puppy Edu joining me. Um, he was sleeping with me here on the sofa, but now he's sleeping on the on the floor. Um, just a few few meters from me. Um, he's sound asleep over there, so Luna took the opportunity to join join me again for these videos. Um, I don't really have anything much to say in this week's episode. I was just going to show you what I've been knitting in my previous video. Um, I shared my um, knitted summer tops and showed you what I have been knitting um, for the past few years or so and how, how those um, um, yarns and, and projects have taken to wear, how much I have used them. Um, I also shared uh, what my favorite yarn for summer knitting is and it was anything for Olive's Pure Silk. Um, although it's not the nicest yarn to knit, it's quite hard on the hands, but um, it takes really well to wear. Uh, it doesn't show any signs of use, even though, for example, the Roman holiday top is already a couple of years old, and I have washed it in the washing machine, I have used it a lot, and the yarn is still in perfect condition. And it's also really nice to, to wear, even though uh, I held the yarn double, so it's equivalent to DK weight yarn. It's still, it's not at all hot during the summer, so I have used um, the Roman holiday top when we were traveling um, in the Mediterranean countries, and it was like 40 degrees Celsius outside, so still um, I didn't feel too hot wearing a knitted uh, summer top. So definitely if you're um, going to need something for the summer, um, pure silk is um, a really good option for that. And if you look at my previous episode, you can also see in the comment section some of you um, pointed out different um, yarn brands with similar silk yarn, so I really want to try those out as well. I haven't used any other brands pure silk yarn except for knitting for olives, so I don't have any experience of the other yarns, but I'm definitely going to try them out. Uh, the weather in Finland has been uh, quite rainy for the whole week. Today is um, clear sky, it's um, quite sunny but still cold and quite windy, especially we live on a little island called Lauttasaari. Uh, it's next to, next to the uh, city center of uh, Helsinki in Finland. And, and it's always very windy over here, so it's surrounded by the sea from all sides. And um, when it's uh, windy weather, it, it really feels windy where we are, because there's nothing uh, blocking it. So today it's, it's quite windy. I haven't been outside yet, so um, I'm not quite sure whether it's t-shirt weather or if I have to take like a jacket on me when I go, go outside. Uh, so I haven't really had that much use of my summer tops yet, but it's still kind of like um, mid-May, not even end of May, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the weather will turn better um, in June. Uh, we will get like nice beach weather and sunny weather, so I can use all the all the summer stuff that I showed you in my previous video because it's such a shame that 
uh, I've needed so many nice things <laughs> if I don't get to use them. Um, today in this uh, video I'm wearing the Celeste T. Uh, it's my newest design and I released the pattern yesterday and I already know this is going to be a favorite and I like it because um, I think it goes really well um, like it's not not it's not just a summer um, design uh, I think it will be really nice for layering in the in the autumn so just draw a cardigan or a blazer on top of it and I think it would look also really nice uh, to be worn over like crisp white shirt so like white shirt colors and a long sleeved uh, maybe slightly rolled or something like that so that's one look that I'm um, thinking about using this um, for example for the office or if I have some kind of a meeting or something more formal and I think it also um, it's so pretty and kind of like sophisticated and so on that I think it would look really nice for like even even a wedding uh, a slight, slightly low-key wedding or another summer party uh, to be worn with a pleated skirt and, and heels and with, with the hair hair done up or something like that so I think this or, or to go to the theater or, or, or ballet or something so it's very versatile and I use also for knitting for Olive because it's one of my favorite yarn brands. As you might already know, uh, I used um, their Cotton Merino. Uh, I held the yarn double. The colorway is called Mousy Rose, so it's like really dusty, uh, grayish, um, purplish pink. Super nice, nice color. And I held the yarn double, so it's 70% cotton and I think 30% merino wool if I remember correct and this is started um, at the top and it's worked top down seamlessly and it's very similar to my um, original Celeste pullover um, except um, this is worked in a lighter weight yarn so I had two strands of knitting for olives cotton merino held double so it's also equivalent to DK weight whereas the original Celeste was worsted weight yarn so the gauge is different and also this has slimmer sleeves and obviously shorter sleeves and I made some waist shaping for this so it's slightly uh, decreasing downwards so it's, I really like the shape and it has a, a tubular cast on and also I added some uh, short rows to the back so that the back is slightly longer than the front and that improves the fit. So those are the changes I made for the Celeste T uh, versus um, the original long sleeve Celeste pullover. And both are my favorite. And I still think this is like one of my my favorite designs and I really really enjoy this new t-shirt and speaking of converting um, sweater designs into t-shirt designs I'm doing the same um, thing as I did for Celeste for my Kutar pullover so if you watch my uh, previous episode. At, at the end of the episode I showed you what I had on my needles and it's uh, this thing here next to me. So I'm working on a Kutar T version and the idea came for, from um, a few of my followers and they pointed out that they live in such warm climates, for example Spain uh, one was from California, I think, and they said that um, um, they would really like to to knit the Kutar pullover, but wearing a um, um, silk mohair uh, sweater is too much for their climate. So, uh, first of all, they were asking whether uh, it could be knitted with cotton, which is, I think it is <laughs> I, I've seen people knitting the Kutar pullover with cotton, but then I came with the idea First of all because I loved uh, working on the Celeste and I love 
that I have uh, this, this thing in my wardrobe and I would really want to wear my cooter more but uh, even though it's not that warm here it's I think wearing um, a really thick sweater would still be a bit, bit too much and the original cooter was worked with fingering weight um, fin sheep um, yarn which is quite rustic and one strand of uh, silk mohair, hair so it's like quite, quite kind of like rustic and fluffy and has the halo from from um, uh, the the mohair. hair so I wanted to um, work the design in a completely different yarn so I chose the Malabrigo yarn uh, Susurra you can see here here's the label and this is a uh, 50% silk 25% merino and 25% linen yarn um, DK slash uh, sport weight and the colorway I used is called pearl and this is the same colorway I used for my Balak socks a year ago so I used uh, the Malabrigo Merino sock yarn, I can't remember, is it Malabrigo sock? It's the 100% um, sock, sock yarn, um, Merino sock yarn and I use the same colorway and I absolutely love the colorway, it's one of the prettiest I have ever seen um, so I wanted to use the same colorway and I wanted to have a yarn that has a completely different feel to the rustic and uh, fluffy yarns that I used for uh, the original Kuda pullover so that's why I chose this one uh, I bought this from Langakauppa Ilo, yarn shop Ilo here in Finland and I absolutely love it, it has a really beautiful sheen from um, the silk and it also has a really good stitch definition I will show you this this is, um, I have finished the yoke of the t-shirt Kutar now and I'm working on the body as you can see and probably can see how how well you can, um, the stitches, the stitch definition is like really, really nice. You can see the, the pattern so nicely and probably you can also see the sheen now that I move it. So it's absolutely gorgeous and I love how the whole feel of the design changes when I change the, the yarn. And I think this colorway works really nicely with the name Kutar because Kutar means uh, it's like um, the goddess of the moon in Finnish. Ku is um, moon, moon in Finnish. And I think this uh, pearly grey um, colorway is really, it, it reminds me of the moon as well, like a silvery moon, so it's super beautiful. So I'm now working on the body and then I will pick up stitches that are on, on waist yarn over here on hold and then I will add, I was thinking about adding shorter sleeves then than uh, for this one but but um, I actually like this sleeve length and I think it's really good for the finished climb because that way I can use it longer so if, if it has like really short sleeves then it's uh, I think it's maybe harder to to layer and but I have decided I have to see when I start to knit the sleeves then I will see the perfect sleeve length but now I'm like I said I'm working on the body and I'm absolutely loving how this is turning out so I think this will also be one of my favorite things to wear this summer so this is it and another new design that I just released are the Caramel Kiss socks so these are the first pattern in this year's um, 
summer sock knit along. So last year I hosted um, a summer sock knit along, which was from beginning of May until uh, the end of August. And this year I moved it a bit forward, so it's from mid-May to mid-September. And the knit along consists of uh, four different sock patterns, just as last year. And they are kind of like mystery socks until um, the publishing date. So it's not a mystery sock in that way that um, you get a, a tiny bit of a pattern, but um, you don't know um, the whole whole set of socks until um, mid August when when is the release date for the last pair of socks and the idea with the knit along last year was um, having three skins of yarn and working for um, socks from those because uh, I hate having leftovers so I wanted to come up with an idea of of uh, including leftovers um, from the different socks into the last sock pattern but this year I'm going to do a bit of more like mix and match so that um, these are probably the only ones that are totally unicolor and then, then the next ones will have some elements of the different colors so you can either get three different skeins of yarn um, or you can use any leftovers um, you have from um, different projects or use so many colors as you want so it's not restricted that you have to use just three skeins and three colors otherwise you're disqualified and that's that's not the, the case so you can do whatever you want but the idea is to use use up leftovers so that um, you don't have to buy four skeins of yarn and then you have a lot of lot, lot of le leftovers after that. So the Caramel Kiss socks are the first, first pattern and they are now available in my Ravelry store and all the knit along patterns will have a 25% 20 discount until the end of the knit along and you have to use the code uh, summer sock kal k a l um, at the Ravelry check out and you will get the discount so this these are uh, the caramel kiss socks and i used um arveta from filkalana and this is the colorway 363 and i think it was called caramel or something like that but it's a really really nice color and for my next socks in the knit along i was planning to use this one this is um, from a Nuria, a yarn shop Nuria in here in Finland, and it's their Merino sock yarn, and the colorway is called Tiger in Silma, um, which means Eye of the Tiger. And I was planning to use it. It has sort of like really nice colors, um, little spots of um, orange, and then like really really pale pink over here so that's probably the next sock uh, that I'm next color that I'm going to use for for the socks the next pair of socks I have already planned all the three socks just need to knit them first but really nice socks coming up and I have two more things to show you in this video I just finished this yesterday. Uh, this is a sweater for Edo, our puppy. He is a, a German pincher puppy, and they are um, very, they get really easily cold, and they don't like to be cold. Uh, they have a really short hair. Um, so especially now that Eto is a puppy and he has like this bare puppy belly still um, he doesn't have that much hair yet so um, he really needs um, something to wear especially on a windy day or rainy day I've noticed that he absolutely hates rain when it's raining he starts whining and he doesn't want to go 
out at all. So I decided to knit a sweater for him. And I made something first and it was too small for him and he's growing so quickly because um, he's a puppy. Uh, so I ripped it back and started again. And this is what I came up with. So it has like this turtleneck color and I made a little hole here at the top so you can put the leash through it and then some increases um, to, to shape shape the, um, the front and then a decreases here after after the um, leg holes um, so this is what it looks like and I used knitting for olives heavy merino and the color is called slate green you can see here here yeah and it's a really beautiful color it's kind of like marled marled green so it has like this um, lighter and, and, and darker green. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's super beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful greens I have seen. I had a kind of dream of making a sweater for me with the same yarn. I think it's a really beautiful yarn. And a lot of people um, have been asking me to write the pattern already uh, after I showed this on Instagram. And I should try to figure out how to to uh, grade dog patterns because it's not the same as grading um, like patterns for humans so uh, I have to figure out uh, the back length and um, chest circumference and also but there are so many different dog breeds and they're all different shape. So how do you grade something that um, will fit like a French bulldog uh, or a whippet? <laughs> so no, the body shape is totally different even though the back length would be kind of the same. So it's not that easy. So I'm trying to try, trying to figure out the math, or maybe this is just one size. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And the last thing that I have on my needles is the very beginnings of a shawl. So there's not that much to show you yet. So this is just the, the tip of the shawl. So you can see there's some some lace and also buckles. So this is what I've been working on. And I'm really excited to see how it's growing. Hope, hope it will be like I imagined it to be. At least I'm working it with the most gorgeous yarn. It's from Ushitita. Um, this is their Yak single, and it's 65% merino wool, 20% uh, silk, and 15% yak. And the color is called Stroop Waffle, huh? Apparently Ed woke up, so I kind of need to uh, stop filming. It was the perfect timing. I was pretty much done with my filming anyway. So, um, yeah, I think that was everything I had for, for today. And we'll try to film a new video very soon. And uh, as always, I will write all the yarn names, all the yarn branch, all the colorway names, all the pattern names that I mentioned and uh, so on below this video so you can check them out from there. And if you like my videos, if you like my channel, um, please subscribe so you will always get notified when a new video comes up. But yeah, that's everything for today. Now I will go and take Edu outside because he woke up and yeah bye